great in one here. Uh, I've got a good video for you today. I've gone to a lot of trouble to try and make it clear. What I'm doing is looking at a concept I saw from G Fusion Core YouTuber. Um, basically, what we're doing is converting high voltage to usable energy in a 240 volt light bulb through the process of a double arc and a ground connection. It's related to the series of videos I'm doing on extraction of energy from the ground. Here's the basic circuit. I've got an induction heater, circuit, flyback, salt water capacitor, there's two, two tablespoons of salt in two litres of water. I've got a spark gap, There's a ground wire connected to a piece of metal buried in the ground. There's the circuit running. There's a second spark being formed between the light bulb and the screwdriver. And as I'm moving the screwdriver away, that spark is, the gap is increasing. And you can see the effect there in the two spark gaps that are running. So adjusting the frequency to adjust the, the brightness of the light bulb. 12 volt battery charger, probably running about 13 point something. Standard induction heater circuit from eBay. Into a flyback. Flyback goes to a water capacitor. It's going down into a spark gap, which is a 220 volt suppressor, spark gap protector device. Into the light bulb. And there's a second spark gap at the base of the light bulb. Aluminium foil forms the second plate, the capacitor, which is connected to the real ground and the cold side of the flyback. Moving the screwdriver further away from the light bulb decreases the frequency. But it's when you increase the frequency to a certain point, you get the brightest result from that light bulb. It's a 25 watt, 240 volt light bulb. Let's just have a look at the current. So we're drawing 1.26 amps. A great result here. As you hold your hand near the water, it feels like wind. There's a shock wave coming from the water. It's quite an unusual feeling. But absolutely nothing felt when you touch the ground side of the water capacitor. Because remember, that side is actually grounded. Hope you enjoyed watching this and enjoyed my attempt to make this very clear. See you for the next time. We've got some good stuff coming up. Thank you.